Hello everybody, welcome back to my show how to create an Android dictionary. So now we are standing in step 3, point 2, that we are going to work in with fragment argument. Okay, so we are going to span an uh, argument from fragment to activity and get a fragment from activity to receive in another fragment. So I will show you in my demo application. Yeah. Okay, so now I choose another word, and one word, so it's go to my detail word. So it means that I navigate from my dictionary fragment to detail fragment. So I cannot work in directly from a one fragment to another one fragment. I must call it from my dictionary fragment and navigate to and call it to main activity and main activity will navigate to detail fragment. Okay, and when I send parameter, I will send it the same flow to. This means I send a parameter from my dictionary fragment to main activity and send it from main activity to detail fragment. Okay, so this is we are going to work in. Okay, so now let's step into our Android Studio. So now I'm going to my main activity and in step 3.1 we are already create a listener that make a communication from fragment to our activity. Okay? So this is yeah. So now I want an argument, I want a value from my fragment. Uh, for example, I'm going to my dictionary fragment. So I want to send hello world. So I'm going to create this private string. Okay, so put value and I say call hello everyone. Hello everyone. So I'm going to send this value from my dictionary fragment to main activity. So I have I what I'm going to do I need a parameter in my on clip on item clip. Okay. So now I'm going to my on item clip that is located in fragment listener. Okay. So I'm going to here. So now I'm should okay. I should put it here. So I'm going to set string and I put value. Okay. So now I'm go back here. And I should put. It will be required. I will cause I'm change something in this segment listener by put a parameter. So I will put this value here. So is it going to be error in here too? Okay, it's error cause of this. Okay, so now I'm going to set my string value. Okay, so now I got my value from my fragment. So it's also error here. So actually, if you implement by directly, it's going to be okay. Going to be implemented with Perio. Okay, so I'm just pass the same. Nothing make something change. Just put this parameter in here. Okay, so now I'm just sending from my fragment to my main activity. So I'm going to set post. So I should call post. Here and main activity and we show the value. Okay, copy value and input the string. So now let's see 
sama sing cair. Dan di area in my book my favorite matches put and value. So I may put a list to value. So I'm going to run so now I'm going to click go to detail okay hello everyone in detail activity okay so I'm go to google it's also this one okay so that's it so now I'm I'm not yet slam it into my fragment I just send it to my activity okay so now I will send my value into my detail fragment Okay, so now I need to send an document from my main activity to my detail fragment. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to my detail fragment and I'm going to put on public void and I'm going to set get new. Okay, I'm going to set it static. But this is for the hair fragment. Okay, so I'm going to put any action, any parameter that you want. So I just say the string, so I just put a string. So I call it value. So now I need an variable here. Private in string value. So now in here, I'm going to add an object detail fragment. So in my detail fragment, wrong. Let's say change letter. So I'm calling new print. New detail fragment. So I'm calling my fragment dot value. And I put the, the value from here too. Okay, so then I just return my fragment. So that's it. Okay, so now I am go back to my main activity. Instead of I create a new span, I am going to call the main activity fragment. Just get new instance and I'm going to put value that I get from bookmark fragment. So I don't need this anymore. Also, this don't need it anymore. And I'm going to call detail fragment to get new instance and I put value in here. Okay, so now let make an identify in your recently fragment. So now when you create it, I'm going to make a toast in the tab fragment. Okay. So go to the tab fragment. So I'm going to call it in when you create it. Now I to make a toast. So toast. Call get context and I put this dot one. Now let's see something. Okay, it's here. So now I'm going to click. Go to detail. Yes, it's here. Alert and toast. However, I remove it from main and I put it in my detail fragment. So now I'm going to my book one and do the same thing there. So this is for my show. So thank you for watching. See you on next video that we are going to working with this view. Bye bye.